Day family, happy Valentine's Day. And on this day of love, we just wanted to give you a six month update. For those that don't know, Ashley is pregnant. We are expecting the baby. They should know by now. Some don't. I get all the time like, oh, y'all having a baby? Congratulations. So here we go with our six month update. Ashley. Okay, well, you should have seen this video and this video by now but if you haven't go watch those and then let's get into the questions <laughs> so something that everybody asks me is how am i feeling am i feeling sick do i have any symptoms and my first trimester i did not that's right i didn't get sick <laughs> thank god no I didn't sickness. no nausea. Well, I maybe had two days where I was a little nauseous and a little tired, mm -hmm. but other than that, I didn't have any. Smooth sailing. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Um one thing that I can say I get often is headaches. Okay. Attention yeah, headaches. Attention headaches. No. <laughs> Just <laughs> tension headaches. And then, um, what else do I get? Well, now I'm starting to get like a little back pains and I've mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. had sleeping problems. Yeah, so, so still minimal things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, there is one thing that I absolutely hate is that I am breaking out. Oh, yes. My skin is doing something. Her face, her neck, her back. Yeah, everything. everything is so bad. Like, my back is breaking out. Like, it's so weird. My chest. And it's so crazy because every time I tell somebody, oh, I'm breaking out, they be like, what? It don't look like you're breaking out. Your skin, you're glowing. It looks beautiful. It does. I don't see break out. hides everything. No, when I'm not wearing <laughs> makeup. I have not been wearing makeup. But right. so I'll ask you. You have to answer first. Okay. What's something that has annoyed you? Oh yeah. Since I've been pregnant. Just one thing. Yeah. What? Just, just one thing. Just There's one thing. more. Oh, wait, there's a few things. That's so great. Just one thing. Mhm. Mm I guess. That has annoyed me. Yeah. Since you were pregnant. I'm gonna get in trouble. This is a bad question. This is just a bad question. Oh no. <laughs> it's a, to be expected, but okay. it can be annoying, is her her moodiness. And then she just lashes out from time to time when she just, you know, feels like it. And I told her early on in the pregnancy, yeah, you can make that face if you want to. I said, <laughs> just because you're pregnant doesn't give you an excuse to be a jerk. <gasps> oh. I did say that. This is honest TV right here. So, and it means like you can get upset and you can try to say things and be like, oh, but I'm pregnant. It's like, no, 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 no. You can be pregnant, but it don't give you an excuse to talk to me like you're a jerk. Oh, wow. So that was the one top thing that really has annoyed me. Wow. And she's gotten better since then, trust and believe. A shame. I didn't. I thought I was normal. I didn't even know that I lashed well, out or had normal, any. Then Lord I didn't me. even know I had any moodiness or anything. Lord so that's help. crazy to me. Okay. So one thing that has annoyed me about Skip, mm -hmm. it <laughs> is that sort of in the beginning, before I told him that it's annoying, is that when people say that I'm kind of small for how many months I am, Skip will lift up my shirt <laughs> and show my stomach. Like, oh, look, here, here goes her bump. Like, I ain't lift up her shirt, I lift up her jacket. Let's no, clarify. it was my, sh it, first of all, it was more than <laughs> once and you've lifted up my shirt in front of people Family, and close people friends. and, Family and close friends. bare stomach mm -hmm. and was like, mm -hmm. look, and I had to let him know. The truth. No. And I had to let him know. Lying. Skip, this is my answer. <laughs> and I had to let him know that even when you're not pregnant, it's not comfortable to lift up somebody's shirt. 
and then when you do it when I'm pregnant, it's even more uncomfortable. So, okay, we'll switch it up a little bit. Favorite things that you love each other doing while being pregnant? Ashley cooks a whole lot more. And so, <laughs> food has been good in the Ramsey house. I'm trying not to get too much weight, so I can say that is the probably the best thing you have been cooking so much more, and it's very good. So, you know, my stomach good. is happy. Yeah, of course it's good. Um, something that I like that you do, I do like that you rub my stomach and that you talk to the little baby. Mm -hmm. And, and um, and I only and, have to do one. You only said it <clears throat> one. And 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 I also like that you pray over my stomach. Well, over the baby. And, and no, that's it. <laughs> Next question. Okay. Oh, I was I was gonna talk about what vitamins I'm taking. What are they? Run a day mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. The prenatal vitamins. I'll I'll show it right here. And then, what oil am I using for stretch marks or stretch mark cream? So I am using Bio Oil. Thank you, Courtney, for mm -hmm. recommending that. It's supposed to be good um, to rub on your stomach four times a day, if she you can remember. That. She ain't doing that. Not four times a day, <laughs> but I still don't have no stretch marks yet. And um, I heard that it's really good um, after. Uh, you have the baby. Whose voice will she probably know more when she comes out? Yours. Because you're with her 24-7 and even if you're not talking to me, she hears your voice. But every time I talk to her, she moves close to me or turns and kicks. So she gonna know me, but she probably will recognize you more because she hears you all the time. And I said... <laughs> And the person I said was the guy on the Bible app. Oh, please. <laughs> please. Because, yes, on my Bible app, I instead of me, like, reading, I'll read along with the guy speaking it. And so, um, and I listen a lot. Like, so. daddy? No, that ain't your daddy. Yeah. So that boy, <laughs> I know she's gonna, she, she, she'll probably know. Did she listen to the Bible already? Right, and we need to start her listening to music. Mm -hmm. He supposedly has what Mozart and Baby yeah, Beethoven baby or Mozart something like that. And baby Einstein. Computer. And how big is she now? Do you know? No. <gasps> Seven inches. Seven inches. Mm -hmm. How about we compare her to fruit? A uh, banana. Nope. How big? Corn. A stalk of corn? Yeah. Alright, so she's a little. A stalk or an ear? An ear, stalk. She's a little bigger than a banana. Yeah. That was close. Banana was probably like a week ago. So she's up to a corn now. Can we get off the yellow fruit? Because my baby going to have some color. She ain't going to be no high yellow baby. Well, she just might. Because I wasn't even high yellow when I was a baby. I was just white. <laughs> uh, any cravings? I'm going to let you answer my craving. Ashley just been eating more what she always want to eat. <laughs> Cheese steaks, crab, the buffet in Glendale. I can't, I can't. Hold on, crab. I'm not finished. I haven't been eating crab. I'm not finished. White Castle burgers, chicken sandwiches, plain. With cheese. With cheese. Except from Wendy's. Hold except on. Except I had a bad Which, experience. So we I don't, don't need to, we anymore. need to put nobody down. We might need a sponsor in the future. Um, cereal at night. So these are the only things she's been slamming down on. But there's not really weird like pickles and ice cream. And yeah. Goat cheese and bread or anything yeah. like that. So that I'm grateful for. Haven't woke up in the middle of the night to go to the store to get anything yet. Grateful for that. Thank you so much. But the normal stuff yeah. is just increased. Yeah, I had, well, well, see, I don't eat crab legs. I mean, crab legs and stuff like that much, but. But yeah. the buffet. <clears throat> How about the two two of the top things that we bought so far? Um, 
to help me like at night to sleep and oh the humidifier the humidifier living in california the air is horrible and it's so dry so um i feel like i've, I've been like getting dried out and stuff so like you, your throat and you know yeah and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we went and got a humidifier, and that is helping a lot. And also my snuggle, snuggle, snuggle. Her, my, her gray pillow. It's a body pillow. Her boyfriend. My boyfriend. I yeah. got pushed to the edge of the bed. I sleep like this, and they sleep like this, and it's just <laughs> when the baby come, I ain't gonna have nowhere to sleep. So. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Yeah, my boyfriend, which I did do a blog about that on my uh, Instagram. Favorite experience so far? I got two. Two. Oh, two. okay. It'd be the first time I heard a heartbeat. Okay. It was poof, 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 poof. And that was, that was real cool. And then the very first time I felt her move in Ashley's stomach, which was kind of surreal. Like she got a little alien in there. No. <gasps> you and, <laughs> you no, know, it was like the movie, you know, the baby, your stomach wasn't moving, but it was like she turned. She wasn't even really kicking. She was turning and I felt her move. And I was like, I said, like, wow, my daughter is really in there moving. And that's crazy. So I was like, I can't wait to hold her uh, in my hands for real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's that too is my favorite experience so far. Mm -hmm. Is feeling her move, although at night, the most, she wants to kick and punch, and that is not nice. What, what do you look forward to most about being a parent? What I look forward to most, I don't know, all the first, like first cry, first word, first walk, first time she turns over, you know, first time she laughs, smiles, all those first we'll get to experience. Uh, don't want to rush it because you know they say time flies and next before you know it to be a teenager and be like oh you're just a baby okay yeah let's stop talking so it's about, about, about the first the, the whole mini first that we'll get to experience together as a family yeah. she's due june 4th um i'm banking that she comes a little late because i can do the school year finish up not to take any days off because the last day of school is june 5th Ashley is banking that she comes early. No. Yeah. She can she can come June fourth. I don't want her to come any later than that. June eighth or ninth. No. Right in that little no. window. That's the sweet spot. No. So agree with me. No. Eighth because and ninth. I'm the one that's got to be pregnant all that time. It's four extra days. Eighth no, I don't want to be pregnant for extra days. If you think she's over under before or after June 4th, let us know in the comments below. Let's see who's accurate. Might have a prize for the person that gets the right date. Oh, God. Cash prize. Do you want to tell them her nickname? Because we're not sharing the name yet. I call her Sweet Pea and Little Pea. Yeah, we call her Sweet Pea. Like the vegetables that I hope she loves. Sweet she ain't gonna like no pee. Like, <laughs> she's gonna like everything because I haven't had any food aversions or allergies or anything. So mm. everything that I eat, she eats, and she's gonna like when she comes out. Sounds like um, is that it? That's all we got for the That's update. it. Mm. And now we should show them the bump. Show them the bump. Show them the bump. All right, here goes the bump. Okay. We're gonna show them the bump. <laughs> Can they see it? I don't know. It's, she's in I'll it. have to. I'll have to stand up on a chair or something. Cause you're too tall today. So here's the bomb for six months. What you think? Love it. Love it. So that's it, everybody. Subscribe. Comment. Uh, check out our Instagram where we probably will keep you updated more often. Mm -hmm. And um, that's it for our six month uh, video. We love you. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. See Bye. Ya.